hello viewers you are most welcome back to the channel and a big thank you goes to those who have been watching my video series liking and subscribing to the channel and as well as sharing these videos to friends family and also prospective applicants who will be writing wasi and applying to our universities in ghana and as we've all heard about the pandemic which is really hitting the nation hard also known as the covid 19 these are not easy times for this country and also africa as a continent so i thereby urge us all to take the necessary precautions to combat this pandemic by adapting good personal hygiene and keeping ourselves safe out there and to all the final year students who are about to write their wasi exams because it has now been suspended i encourage you to study hard for your exams and also develop new strategies to study by creating a steady timetable setting a target for yourself on what you want to achieve every day so maybe if you learn core maths what do you want to achieve revisiting your own notes and solving lots of past examination questions from WAEC. And this is very important because if you look at the trend of WAEC exams over the past years, there are no new questions that is being set. It is the past questions that is reframed every year. So today we are going to visit the University of Education, Winneba, and this video is to educate prospective applicants with regards to the University of Education admission process, entry requirements, and their cutoff point system. It is also to help applicants avoid making common mistakes when applying, such as entering wrong information with regards to their bio data, contact information, and examination details. There are also instances where applicants apply with very high ambitions without taking notice of the program's entry requirements so for instance you see a general art student or a business student who is applying to the university of education Winneba and has selected technical programs for his first second choices but you should always take notice that the technical programs are only for pure science students and not for general art, business, special art students. So these are some of the mistakes prospective applicants make when applying to the University of Education, Winneba. And there are also instances where an applicant has a very weak aggregate and decides to select competitive programs for all the choices, such as a program like Bachelor of Business Administration Accounting, Bachelor of Business Administration, Human Resource Management, Bachelor of Science in Health Administration and Education. You realize these programs are very competitive and if you have a weak aggregate, you desist from selecting such programs when applying to the University of Education Winneba. Applicants involving other third party individuals such as school teachers, middle men, cafe attendants and university staffs. So admissions to the University of Education Winneba is very transparent so prospective applicants should take full responsibility of their application to the university. And don't let these individuals give you false promises or guide you wrongly. Projected applications to the university is set to double this year 2020 due to the free SHS initiative by the government. So projected applications not only to the University of Education Winneba but to all the major universities in Ghana is set to double this year because of the free SHS badge which is writing WASI this year. So when you're applying to the University of Education Winneba or any major universities in Ghana, please take the necessary precautions so that your application can go through successfully. So moving on to the minimum entry requirement for any bachelor's degree program at the University of Education Winneba and it says an applicant must have at least 6 WASI credit passes that is from A1 to C6 including 3 core subjects that is English language, mathematics, integrated science or social studies as well as 3 relevant elective subjects which is also from A1 to C6 with a total aggregate of 36 or better and also with that of the SSC, you also need credit passes A to D, including three core subjects such as English language, mathematics, and integrated science or social studies, and any three relevant elective subjects with a total aggregate of 24 or better. So there are also other entry requirements that qualifies you for a bachelor's degree program at the University of Education, Winneba. And with a mature applicant, you must be at least 25 years of age 
you should have a minimum of a GCE, SSCE, WASI certificate or DBS, RSE certificate or an equivalent qualification to qualify you for a bachelor's degree program. You must also take note that you have to write and pass the University of Education Winneba entrance exam in general aptitude test and subject area test. Other qualifications also accepted is for the post-diploma applicants or the diploma holders, those who are applying for top-ups known as diploma to degree and an applicant must possess a higher national diploma or its equivalent in a relevant field of study from a recognized university. Successful applicants for post-diploma programs may be placed at level 200 or 300 of the four-year degree program depending on their background. So what the University of Education Winneba will do is to assess your diploma qualification and based on your final grade point that you attained, you are likely to be admitted in either level 200 or level 300 of the four-year degree program. Additional requirement for the bachelor's degree program for WASI applicants is that candidates opting for French as second language area should have at least a grade C6 in French. Candidates opting for English as a second area should also have at least a grade C6 in English literature. Candidates opting for another Ghanaian language as a second area should also have at least a grade C6 in any of the Ghanaian languages. Candidates also opting for the German language and linguistics need no prerequisite requirements for such programs. Moving on to the minimum entry requirement to read diploma programs in the University of Education Winneba. And to read a diploma in basic education, applicants must have credit passes A1 to C6 in five subjects comprising three core subjects including English language and mathematics and two elective subjects relevant to the program chosen. To read other diploma programs at the University of Education Winneba, an applicant must have six passes A1 to D7 in all subjects including English language and mathematics and three elective subjects which is also C6 and must be relevant to the program that you want to study at the University of Education Winneba. And for the entry requirement with the technical programs, which is being offered for both full-time and sandwich, an applicant must have grade A1 to C6 in three core subjects comprising English language, core mathematics, and integrated science, as well as any three elective subjects from the following, automotive mechanics, elective mathematics, physics, engineering science, chemistry, technical drawing, applied electricity, electronics, metal work and welding. So if you know you have any of these three elective subjects, you can apply for a technical program at the University of Education, Winneba, as well as your core subjects, which will be from A1 to C6 in English language, core mathematics and integrated science. So we move on to the application process and it is officially announced that applications are invited from qualified applicants for admission into the following programs at the University of Education, Winneba for the 2020-2021 academic year. And you are also to take note that current final year students, WASI, who are yet to write their final exams may also apply as awaiting results. So if you are a prospective applicant about to write your WASI this year, you can also apply to the University of Education whenever before you write your WIAC examination. Fee paying facility is also available to applicants who do not meet the competitive selection cutoff point but satisfy the minimum university requirement. So what this means is that if you don't meet the competitive cutoff point for a particular program, you can still apply for fee paying but you also have to meet the minimum entry requirements set by the university and the requirement is that you must have credit passes in all your core subjects as well as your three relevant elective subjects to qualify you for fee paying. Special education applicants should also take note that they have to pass their entrance exam in their second program before they can be admitted into the University of Education Winneba. 
Continuing with the application process, submitting an application with supporting documents is the first step in the selection process. Applicants are entreated to study the admissions brochure carefully before completing an application. So when you purchase your e-voucher for the online application, the bank is required to provide to you a brochure or a prospectus of the University of Education Winneba and this brochure contains the available programs their entry requirements as well as their cutoff points so you have to read the brochure carefully before applying online to the university of education Winneba. all certificates and results other than those from the west african examination council the universities and polytechnics in ghana and institutions accredited by the national accreditation board should be cleared with the National Accreditation Board and evaluation report should be submitted to the university. You can also call these numbers 030-251-8630, 030-286-013 or 014 and the last number is 0302-518. 5704 any assistance. Successful applicants of Ghanaian language will be given the opportunity to offer a second subject in English, French, linguistics, or German. Submission of online application forms. Visit the official University of Education Winneba website at www.uew.edu.gh and click on admissions and select apply now. Log in with your voucher serial number and your PIN number. Fill the appropriate application form and submit online. Complete the bio or supporting data section which entails your name, your contact information and your personal address and proceed to the results and program selection section. Before you submit the application, ensure that the information provided, especially names, postal address, choice of program selection, etc. are correct because after submitting the application, no corrections can be made to your application. So please take note of this important information. Print a copy of your proof of application form for reference purposes after you are done with your online application. A change of program after submitting your online application is not allowed by the university. So before selecting a program, make sure you have read the necessary entry requirements and the cutoff point for that particular program before selection. Applicants are also to take note of the following. You are to make sure your name is correctly spelled and correctly arranged. Changes in name after submission of application and admission, if applicable, will not be entertained by the university. Before you submit the application, ensure that the information provided, especially names, postal address, choice of program, etc. are correct because after submitting the application, no corrections can be made to your application. Remember to attach scanned copies of your school's certificates, result slips and SNET identification card and this applies to only the matured applicant and any other relevant supporting documents to the online application portal. Admissions list. Only successful applicants will receive admission letters. Full-time and part-time applicants usually get their letters in the month of June, July and sandwich applicants receive DS in the month of April, May. Read carefully the instructions on the admission letter and when duly satisfied, you can make payment of your fees at the bank. The sandwich fees are paid every semester and accommodation facilities is available for interested students at a fee. After making the payment, be checking from the university website for any new announcements regarding accommodation, orientation, registration, matriculation, and when lectures is going to begin. You may also visit the official University of Education Winneba website for any update in the deadline or when admission is going to begin. And the link is apply.uew.edu.gh.com. Application deadlines. Closing date for submission of application forms. So the deadline for direct 
applicants, those who are applying with their SSC or WASI results, is on the 15th of July 2020. The deadline for mature applicants is on the 29th of May 2020. The deadline for post diploma applicants, those who want to do top up to the University of Education with their HND or diploma qualification and the deadline is on the 15th of July 2020. However, prospective applicants should also take note that these deadlines can be extended. So it's always advisable to visit the official university website for any information concerning the extension of the deadline. The purchase of the e-voucher for the University of Education Uniba is being sold at 200 Ghana cities and you can find them at Ghana Commercial Bank, Prudential Bank, Zenith Bank, Ghana Post Offices and the University of Education Uniba Campus Cash Office. Enquiries you may visit the official University of Education Winneba website and the website is www.uew.edu.gh slash admissions slash undergraduate for any necessary information needed. You may also visit the admissions unit at the central administration only and their working hours is from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. from Mondays to Fridays. You may also contact the following numbers and that of the Winneba campus is 020-2041133. That of Kumasi campus is 0322-052212 or 032-205-3617. That of the Bampong campus is 020-204-117 and that of the Ajumako campus is 033-219-377. So we move on to the available programs that is being offered at the University of Education Winneba and we are going to start with the Winneba campus and under the Faculty of Educational Studies these are the following programs Bachelor of Education, Basic Education for Upper Primary that is Primary 4 to Primary 6 Bachelor of Education, Basic Education, Junior High School Specialization, Bachelor of Education, Early Grade Education, Bachelor of Education, Community Based Rehabilitation and Disability Studies, Bachelor of Education, Special Education, Post Diploma, Bachelor of Education, Guidance and Counseling, Post Diploma, Bachelor of Education, Community Based Rehabilitation and Disability Studies, Post Diploma, Bachelor of Education, Early Childhood Education, Post Diploma, Bachelor of Education in Basic Education, Diploma in Community Based Rehabilitation and Disability Studies, Post Diploma, Bachelor of Education in Special Education. So under the School of Business, there is Bachelor of Business Administration Accounting, Bachelor of Business Administration Human Resource Management, Bachelor of Business Administration Banking and Finance, Bachelor of Business Administration Marketing and Entrepreneurship, Bachelor of Business Administration Procurement and Supply Chain Management. Under the School of Creative Arts, there is Bachelor of Arts in Arts Education, Bachelor of Arts in Graphic Design, Bachelor of Arts in Theater Arts, Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Arts in Music Education, Bachelor of Arts in Textile and Fashion Design Studies Education, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Animation, Post Diploma in Music and Post Diploma in Theater Arts. We continue with the School of Creative Arts and their programs like Post Diploma in Art Education, Post Diploma in Graphic Design, Post Diploma in Music Education, Post Diploma in Textile and Fashion Design Studies Education, Diploma in Art Education, Diploma in Graphic Design, Diploma in Theater Arts, and Diploma in Music. Moving on to the Faculty of Foreign Languages, Education and Communication, there are programs like Bachelor of Arts English Education, Bachelor of Arts French Education, Bachelor of Arts Linguistics Education, Bachelor of Arts Linguistics and English Education, Bachelor of Arts Linguistics and French Education, Bachelor of Arts German and English Education, Bachelor of Arts German and French Education, and Bachelor of Arts Communication and Media Studies. Under the Faculty of Science Education, 
the available programs are Bachelor of Science Fiscal Education, Bachelor of Science Home Economics Education, Bachelor of Science Mathematics Education, Bachelor of Science Sports Coaching, Bachelor of Science Integrated Science Education, Bachelor of Science Physics Education, Bachelor of Science Chemistry Education. So we continue with the Faculty of Science Education and the programs are Bachelor of Science Biology Education, Bachelor of Science Information and Communication Technology Education, Bachelor of Science Health Administration and Education, Post Diploma in Home Economics Education, Post Diploma in Mathematics Education, Post Diploma in Information and Communication Technology Education, Post Diploma in Health Administration and Education, and Diploma in Coaching. So we move on to the Komase campus and under the Faculty of Business Education, there are programs like Bachelor of Science Accounting Education, Bachelor of Science Management Education, Bachelor of Business Administration Secretarial Education, Bachelor of Business Administration Management, Bachelor of Business Administration Executive Office Administration, Bachelor of Science in Marketing, Bachelor of Science in Banking and Finance, Bachelor of Science in Procurement and Supply Chain Management, and Bachelor of Science in Business Information Systems. So these programs are available for full-time and also evening sessions. Under the Faculty of Education and Communication Sciences, there is Bachelor of Arts English Education, Bachelor of Arts Arabic Education, and under the Faculty of Vocational Education, there is Bachelor of Science Fashion Design and Textiles Education, Bachelor of Science Catering and Hospitality Education, Post Diploma Fashion Design and Textiles Education, and Post Diploma Catering and Hospitality Education. Under the Faculty of Education and Communication Sciences, there are programs like the Bachelor of Science Accounting Education, Bachelor of Science Management Education, Bachelor of Business Administration Secretarial Education, Bachelor of Business Administration and Management, Bachelor of Business Administration and Executive Office Administration, Bachelor of Science in Marketing, Bachelor of Science in Banking and Finance, Bachelor of Science in Procurement and Supply Chain Management, and Bachelor of Science Business Information Systems. Under the Faculty of Technical Education of the Kumasi Campus, there are programs like Bachelor of Science Mechanical Technology Education, Bachelor of Science Automotive Technology Education, Bachelor of Science Wood Technology Education, Bachelor of Science Construction Technology Education, Bachelor of Science Electricals and Electronics Technology Education, Bachelor of Science Mathematics Education, Bachelor of Science Information Technology Education, and Bachelor of Science Post Diploma Mechanical Technology Education. Still under the Faculty of Technical Education, there are available programs like Post Diploma Automotive Technology Education, Post Diploma Wood Technology Education, Post Diploma Construction Technology Education, Post Diploma Electricals and Electronics Technology Education, Post Diploma Mathematics Education, Post Diploma Information Technology Education. There are also evening and weekend programs and that is the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology and the Bachelor of Science Information Technology Education. So looking at the Faculty of Science and Environment Education at the Asante Mampo campus, the available programs are Bachelor of Science Integrated Science Education, Bachelor of Science Biological Sciences Education, Bachelor of Science Chemistry Education, Bachelor of Science Environmental Health and Sanitation Education, Bachelor of Science Environmental Health and Sanitation Education top up and some of the available short courses in water supply, sanitation and hygiene also known as WASH is monitoring and evaluation training, entrepreneurship and behavioral change communication. Under the Faculty of Agriculture Education at the Asante Mampong Campus, the available programs are Bachelor of Education, Natural Resource Management, Bachelor of Science, Agribusiness Management and Entrepreneurship with Education, Bachelor of Science, Agriculture Education. Under the Faculty of Education and General Studies, the available programs are the Bachelor of Education, Upper Primary Education, Bachelor of Education, Junior High School Education, Bachelor of Education, Early Grade Education. 
So with the Faculty of Ghanaian Languages Education at the Ajumako campus, the available programs are Bachelor of Arts Pre Education with either German, French, English or Linguistics. Bachelor of Arts Fancy Education with either German, French, English or Linguistics. Bachelor of Arts in Zima Education with either German, French, English or Linguistics. Bachelor of Arts Dagbani Education with either German, French, English or Linguistics. Bachelor of Arts Dagari Education with either German, French, English or Linguistics. Bachelor of Arts Gunja Education with either German, French, English or Linguistics. So we continue with the programs available under the Faculty of Ghanaian Languages Education and there is Bachelor of Arts Guruni Education with either German, French, English or Linguistics. Bachelor of Arts Kasim Education with either German, French, English or Linguistics. Bachelor of Arts Kusal Education with either German, French, English or Linguistics. Bachelor of Arts Ewe Education with either German, French, English or Linguistics. Bachelor of Arts Ghana Education with either German, French, English or Linguistics and Bachelor of Arts Dami Education with either German, French, English or Linguistics. So I'd like to thank you for watching once again and do not just watch but you can also share with your friends and family especially those who are applying to the universities this academic year and also subscribing to the channel for future videos like admission requirements to universities such as the UPSA, UDS, UNED, UHAS and many other more. My final message to us all is to pray for the country in these challenging times and may the good Lord guide and watch over us all. Thank you for watching and see you in the upcoming videos.